It's a pile on. Banjo of the Overflow, the next instalment to the Bulletin debate, an attempt to define Australia's national identity, a 19th century poetry slam and roast battle for the ages. Banjo versus Henry, you might know those names by now. And the bush is very pretty when you view it from the city. Would Banjo really swap his city lawyer life for that of Clancy's? Initially credited only as K, the second parody in the series, Banjo of the Overflow, was written by Francis Kenner, an Australian poet, journalist and Labor member of the Legislative Assembly in Queensland. He also edited The Brisbane Worker. Banjo of the Overflow is set in the perspective of a jackaroo writing to Banjo, asking for some assistance, but none was forthcoming. I'm busy, I'll see what I can do, was the response the equivalent of thoughts and prayers. Kenner playfully points out the irony of a city dweller writing poems about life in the country. Banjo of the Overflow by Francis Kenner I'd written him a letter, which I had for want of better, Knowledge given to a partner by the name of Greenhide Jack. He was shearing when I met him, and I thought perhaps I'd let him know that I was stiff and maybe he would send a trifle back. My request was not requited, for an answer came indicted on a sheet of scented paper in an ink of fancy blue, and the envelope, I fancy, had an esquire to the clancy, and it simply read, I'm busy but I'll see what I can do. To the vision land I can go, and I often think of Banjo, of the boy I used to shepherd in the not so long ago. He was not the bushman's kidney, and among the crowds of Sydney, he'll be more at home than mooning on the dreary overflow. He has clients now to fee him, and has friends to come and see him. He can ride from morn to evening in the padded handsome cars. And he sees the beauties blending, where the throngs are never ending, and at night the wondrous women in the everlasting bars. I am tired of reading prattle of the sweetly lowing cattle stringing out across the open with the bushmen riding free. I am sick at heart of roving up and down the country droving, and of alternating damper with the salt junk and the tea. And for sleeping in the water, on the droving trips I've caught a lively dose of rheumatism in my back and in my knee. And in spite of verse, it's certain that the sky's a leaky curtain. It may suit the banjo nicely, but it never suited me. And the bush is very pretty when you view it from the city, but it loses all its beauty when you face it on the pad. And the wildernesses haunt you, and the plains extended daunt you, till at times you come to fancy that the life will drive you mad. But I somehow often fancy that I'd rather not be Clancy, that I'd like to be Banjo, where the people come and go, when instead of framing curses, I'd be writing charming verses, though I scarcely think he'd swap me Banjo of the Overflow. Mr.